Marty, this is Rob Beyer. He's in charge of the CIA Museum. Rob, how can we get a closer look at something without getting people closer to it? So the great thing about our Directorate of Science and Technology is that they have turned to the world of nature in order to find ways in which to get and collect that information in very unique ways. Behind me, you see quite a few different ways they've done that over the years. Putting a camera on a pigeon, using robofish to collect water samples, or in one case, using a rat, yes, there's a rat in there, as a dead drop. That's something that a case officer uses to communicate with his agent or her agent in the field to pass information back and forth because a case officer and an agent don't want to be seen in the same place together or that agent might have a short lifespan. What about drones? Do you all use drones in your line of work? In the 70s, they were experimenting with a very uh, interesting way of trying to get audio information uh, from different places. And so they came up with the idea for something called the insectothopter. And the insectothopter was a small little micro drone, basically using a bug to bug someone else. <laughs> wow. So it's not just collecting photographs like we do with our personal drones. There's other information you can collect with a drone. You can use the full spectrum of video, or audio. There's so much information that one can gather. And so in this instance with the insectothopter, that was just audio that they were trying to, uh, to gather. Awesome. This is great information. We need to get this back to our junior agents of STEM. Okay, let's go.